about to start our 20 minute sweaty flow. So it's gonna be a short, quick practice. Um, anytime that you need a little break, take one. But just remember, it's only gonna be 20 minutes. We're gonna move a little fast. You can take a downward facing dog um, as an active rest, or you can take child's pose as a full rest anytime that you need. So let's get started. <laughs> Find a nice, comfortable child's pose. Right here, you can spread the knees a little bit wide. This is your safe place during your practice with your forehead down if you need to take a moment here to really rest. I know this weekend is going to be busy, so this practice is important to remember yourself, to remember your health, your body, your needs. So take a moment here, maybe setting an intention for something to keep you present in your practice, something for you to focus on, or you can have the intention of I am capable. When you start to feel a little discouraged, start to feel a little tired, you're capable of 20 minutes of a little faster paced yoga. Take another full breath here in, and out. On the next inhale, rock up into your half plank, your modified plank right here, pull the belly in, and then sink back. So tuck the toes under here. So inhale forward, and then back. And again, inhale forward, and back. Go ahead one more time, inhale forward, and back. One more bonus, inhale forward, and back. Now come onto your hands and knees for cat-cow. So knees are now hip bone distance apart, wrists are underneath your shoulders, shoulders are back. Inhale, drop the belly down, arch the spine, gaze up. And then exhale, moving into cat. Really exaggerating the curve of the spine, massaging the entire vertebrae as you move with the breath. Exhale, go ahead, three more. Inhale, and exhale. This right here is a nice vinyasa integrating the breath with movement. Enjoying the little slower moments right here. But now adding a little bit of action into it. So find a flat back here, re flat back here. Reach your right leg up and back behind you. Pull the belly in. So this is an inhale. Exhale, tap your right elbow. Inhale, exhale, tap. Inhale, and tap. Inhale, and tap. And again, inhale and tap. Good, inhale and tap and hold over to the left elbow. So you're crossing that center of the line. See how my back is curved? Good, reach back, hold, pull that belly in. And then lower. Inhale, reach the left leg and back, flat back. The gaze is forward just a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, cross and hold. Pull that belly in. Tap, tap, tap that right elbow. Breath is natural. And then back, hold. Drop that foot. Exhale, back downward facing dog. So finding downward facing dog, knees really bend if the hamstrings are tight. Good, strong back. Flat back, reach the heels down. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale back, belly in the whole time. Inhale forward and back. And again, inhale forward and back. Two more, forward and back. Last one, forward, three, two, one. Back, three, two breaths, last breath. Inhale, reach that right leg up and back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna tap your right elbow again. So exhale, tap. Inhale up and tap. Three, tap. Two, tap. Last one, and tap. And up, good, exhale, lower down. Inhale, right leg up, or left leg up. And exhale, tap, left elbow. And two, tap. Three, Four, and five. Good, reach that left leg up and hold. Strong belly in, exhale, lower down. Walk both feet forward and sit down behind the heels. 
pop right up into Navasana, boat pose. So we're gonna have the knees bent because we're gonna move a little bit. So hold, three, two, one, however you can, stand up into Ukatasana chair, pull that belly in, hips back, make sure you can see those toes. Two, one, sit down in Vasana. Good, five, hold, pull that belly in, pull the hips towards the, towards the belly. You're capable and strong. And again, Ukatasana, pull belly in. One more after this, you got it. Breathe, hips back, belly in and drop. Navasana. My knees pop, pops are good. Up, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Last one, Ukatasana. Hips back, make sure you can see those toes. Pull that belly in, tailbone down. Good, then stand up. We're gonna flow. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step, pass however you want to. Both feet back. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Right leg comes up and back. Swing it in between your hands, warrior one. Back foot rotates out 45 degrees. Hips in, right knee, right toes are forward. Inhale up, exhale. Fist. Inhale, exhale. Two. Last one. Inhale, reach up. Turn into goddess. So both toes turn outward about 45 degrees to the side of your mat. We're going to do the same thing again. Inhale and exhale, goddess. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, warrior two to the back of the mat. So the hips are open. They stay towards the side. The left knee is to the back of the mat. Press into the outside of the left or the right toes. Right knee is stacked over the toes. Warrior two. Look over that left hand. Cartwheel down. Take a vinyasa. So exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Good, three breaths here. Let it go. Walks ever even hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands heart center. And again, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Flat back. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Walk, step, or hop both feet back. Exhale, lower down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up. Exhale, back downward. This time, extend left leg up and back. Swing it in between your hands. Warrior one. Back foot rotates out. Hips are forward. So are your left toe and knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Goddess. Do the same thing. So toes turn out. Exhale. This time we're staying. Hold. Good. Tailbone down. Pull that belly in. We're about to turn into warrior two. Over the right leg. So the right toes and right knee point forward. Arms stretch out. Hips are to the side. Gaze over the right middle finger. Breathe. So when we're not moving right here, there's a lot of heat and a hold. Good. Cartwheel. Down. And take your vinyasa. Oh, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Last one. And then walk or step both feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands, heart center. Send them right back up. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Walk, step or hop both feet back. 
Take your flow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back downward facing. From downward facing, come right back to your high plank. Shift over to your right hand, the outside of the right foot. Vashistasana. If you need to drop the right knee, drop it, okay? Extend that left arm up. Your feet can stagger or you can stack. Good, hold, look up if you can. Lift from that left side body. Really press into your legs, strong legs. You're using your legs and your arm. Good, come back to your plank and flow again. Inhale up, exhale back downward facing. Reach that right leg up and back, swing it forward. And then you're gonna press off that right foot and lift the leg. Keep it lifted as you stand up. Bring the outside of that ankle over your right thigh to a figure four and sit. Hands come into heart center, you can stay high. If you wanna go a little lower, try to get the elbows to that shin, you can. Go ahead, slowly lift all the way up. Let that foot go. And then exhale, come right back down. Take a vinyasa, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold into your flow. You got it. Here we go. Come right back into your, your plank. We're gonna move into Vashisthasana. Just for sake. All right, pressing into that left hand. Outside of the left foot, lift, lift, lift that right side body. Strong bodies, you're capable. Good, drop your right hand, take a vinyasa. Three breaths in your downward facing dog. This time, Stepping that left foot forward. If you can, lift the right foot as you rise. Bring the outside of that left ankle over your left thigh. Right ankle over your left thigh. Hands in heart center. And then exhale, slowly lower as far as you want. Keep pulling the belly in. Press into the four corners of that left foot. Go as low as you want. Good. Now lower your hands, drop that right foot, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, step both feet back, inhale, reach that right leg up and back, and then bring the right knee into the right wrist for pigeon. So drop the shin down, look back at your left toes, make sure they're in line with the hip bone, inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, fold. Keep flexing your right foot. Rest into that hip. You can rock or sway if that feels nice. Peel yourself up. Press your hands down. Come back to your downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa here if you want. Inhale forward. Exhale lower. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale extend the left leg up and back behind you. Pigeon. So rest the shin down. Left foot parallel to the edge of the mat. Your right leg does not have to be parallel to the top of the mat, or your left leg does not have to be parallel to the top of the mat, but you do want to flex the left foot. So look back at your right foot. Make sure that the toes are in line with the hip. Inhale, lengthen, then exhale, fold over. Taking several deep breaths here. Same thing, you can rock it out if you want. Feel that? Stress release from your hip.
three more breaths. Two and one. Feel yourself up. Swing your right leg around and lie down on your back. So as soon as you lie down, go ahead, hug both knees in, apanasana, relax the head and the shoulders and the neck. You can shake your head a little bit to relax. Decompress the spine here. Let it stay at its natural curve. And then drop the left foot down. Inhale, reach your right leg, and then exhale, flex the foot. If you can stay here, you can grab on the back of the leg. If you would like to grab on with your peace fingers, you can also do that. Just press your hips down. Breathe into the hamstring. Five deep breaths here. Notice the breath returning back to the body. And then cross the right knee over your left knee. Move your hips a little bit to the right edge of the mat and then drop them over to the left side. So you're coming in into a supine twist. Arms come out to the sides to a T or at least cactus arms. The palms are facing up, breathing into the right side of the body. Enjoying your twist. And slowly come back to center. Move your hips back. And then extend that left leg up. Exhale, flex the foot. Either stay here, grab onto the back of the leg, or even peace finger around the big toe. Breathing into your hamstring. Knee bent if the hamstrings are tight. Being happy that you've practiced this weekend. A lot of people are out partying and, and that is totally okay. But just take a little bit of time to ground, to sweat, to move, to breathe. I'm gonna cross that knee over your right knee. Pick your hips up and move them to the left side of the mat and then drop the knees over to the right side. Take a few deep breaths here, breathing into the left side of the body, from that shoulder down through the ribs and into the left hip. center and then extend all the way down into Shavasana. So a shorter Shavasana but always taking the time to relax, to bridge your practice into meditation. We're just softening the back of the body, feeling the light, the breath through the front of the body as you inhale. And as you exhale, feeling the body fall back into the mat, back into the earth. You've seen thoughts come and go. And then returning back to this form of relaxation, allowing yourself to simply be here without the act of doing, the act of thinking, you're allowing yourself to be. Softening the face, maybe even turning the sides of the mouth up into a slight smile. Start to wiggle the fingers, the toes. Slowly roll over onto the right side, hug the knees in. Remind yourself here to take care of you. To nourish, nurture, and respect your body and your needs. 
using your hands as you press all the way up. Find a comfortable seated position just to close your practice. Bring your hands in the heart center, feeling the thumbs connect against your heart center. Fingers spreading, pressing into each other. Eyes are closed. And take a moment here for gratitude, reflection, mantra, or affirmation. I'm strong, I'm capable. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you for practicing and happy Memorial Day weekend. Namaste.